boom. Oh man, that is bright. So the reason that uh, the super bright light is in my face right now, illuminating the whole cab of my truck, probably freaking people out as I'm driving by their houses, is because I want to show you guys a new product. The guys and girls over at Olight signed me up for the new SR, S1R, sorry, Baton 2 tactical flashlight by Olight. If you guys remember, a couple videos back, I did a review, walkthrough, unboxing of the S2R Baton 2, and this guy, is it's an even smaller package, but it also packs a awesome punch. I'm gonna show you guys this, we're gonna be taking this camping tonight, and uh, I wanna show you guys this product. Super cool little flashlight, and uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys. So yeah, this is the S1R Baton 2. I'll get a better look for you. You can actually check it out right on the website, the Olight website, it's olightworld.com. Everything's gonna be in the description. So check it out on the website, you can get a 360 view of it. Pretty cool little flashlight. It's got all the cool accessories that come with the S2R. It's got the magnetic battery charger on the very bottom of the flashlight, which is super cool. It's one thing I really like about my S2R. And uh, they brought that back with the S1R, of course. This puppy, oh, bright, 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 is uh, pumping out a thousand lumens, which is, uh, yeah, you don't want to shine that in your face too much like what I'm doing right now. So a powerful little flashlight, super small. This is 1.8 ounces. Super small, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's like you can fit this in your pocket. It's great for any outdoorsman or you know just somebody who needs a small little flashlight for anything. The battery charge on this thing is even better than the S2R, so you can get up to eight days on a single charge, which is incredible. I mean, it's, it's perfect, perfect for camping actually, because you just throw in your backpack and know that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be alive for a while. So really cool. Again, also waterproof. The S2R was waterproof. This one still waterproof. It's got the IPX. R rating, I think I, I remember that right. If you guys didn't see the last video, there's a dude, another YouTuber out there that put these things to the test. He froze it for like nine hours uh, with it on. It was still on when he woke up in the morning. Threw it off like a 50 foot bridge. And uh, yeah, he did a bunch of tests with these, these lights and they are known to be extremely durable. So another really cool feature about this flashlight. So I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna stop shining this in my face and get to uh, driving on the road like a uh, responsible adult. And I'll see you guys at the farm where I'm gonna grab the sled and we're gonna go camping with this thing. Woo! Oh, oh man. Whew. It's a bit chilly out tonight. I think it's like <clears throat> 10 degrees, something like that. Definitely not the coldest we've ever gone camping, of course, but. Uh, the sled is in the garage, unfortunately, so uh, there's people sleeping inside. Um, it's gonna suck, because I gotta open the loud garage door and I gotta fire up the sled. But uh, we're gonna try and be quiet. So I'm gonna head upstairs, I'm gonna put on my sled gear, and uh, I'm gonna be using the flashlight the whole time just to show you guys what it's like in normal use. Okay guys, so on my GoPro, which you probably noticed, I'm trying not to make too much noise because I don't want to wake people up, but uh, the Skidoo legend, you guys remember this? So I sent out a Snapchat to you guys, had your vote if you wanted to see this one or the IQ in today's video and you guys chose this because we haven't done any real videos with this thing. Um, it's missing the seat. I'm working on a video for you guys repairing the seat. Uh, put that on there as a joke. That's the IQ seat, but um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do instead of a seat is put my backpack down, and sit on that, 
But uh, yeah, this is what we're taking today, and uh, should be fun. It's so loud. This thing is a lot lighter than my IQ, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Just push it forward. Man. And I still have the battery hooked up to this thing. So technically, it should fire right up without having to do any pulls. Amazing. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I remember now. We have the fancy switch, the push button. There's the battery. Push button switch. Look at this. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. For one o'clock in the morning, that's really loud. <laughs> Look at this old girl. She's a little rough around the edges. Here's the real good part. This is my seat right here. Yeah, talk about a sled seat. Sit right on that bad boy. All right, we're gonna let this warm up and then we'll get ready to go. Alright guys, got everything I need, got my seat, got my tripod, and she's all warmed up, so let's see how this is going to go. Ooh, actually that's pretty comfy, sitting a little higher than usual, but that's alright. I'm going to try and keep the uh, flashlight on the entire time, I know the, the sled has a light on it, but just to show you guys a little bit more. Something smells a little funny. Oh boy. I'm gonna fall off this seat. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. So I'm not gonna go too far either. Because uh, I really don't wanna wake a bunch of people up. Uh, yeah, you can kind of kinda see the lights uh, shining pretty good here in the field. It's got like a 480 foot range on this thing. Pretty impressive. I think what we're gonna do is just go up the, uh, up near the tree line. Oh, I lost my windshield. What? I don't know where that went. Oh, I see it over there. <laughs> I'll have to get that in the morning. Okay, so, I'm gonna, oh, oh gotta turn. I'm gonna head over this way. I can't do much carving <laughs> because of my seat situation. Oh man, this is also one of the first rips on this uh, this old $350 sled. It seems to be running pretty good. Again, I can't really use it too much, but. Yeah, somewhere. Right here, I'm thinking. Right in the flat spot. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, that's it. This is our spot. Hope I didn't crush my camera. All right. This is where we're camping tonight, my friends. Man, I hope I didn't wake too many people up. All right, hey look, a screwdriver. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna put the tripod down and I'm gonna set up the tent, get all my gear inside, and uh, we'll go from there. I got my Red Sox hat because uh, it's also handy on this thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a clip. Clips right onto the visor of a cap. And uh, I use that quite a bit. I'm doing my late night shenanigans with my baseball cap. Okay, we gotta find. I forgot to show you guys too all the functions on this thing. It's just like the S2R, so you can by just pressing down you can cycle through all the functions. 
super bright mode. You got strobe light. Yeah, this thing is crazy bright. Look at that. Cold on the fingers. Ooh. All right, tents all set up. I got the uh, rain fly on it for extra warmth. Empty tent right now. Oh, I got some snow in there. Oh, who has cold on the fingers? All right, ready to throw my stuff in there. This time, I did not actually bring a uh, a pad to sleep on. I just decided to uh, go with that one because we're sleeping in the snow. But I did bring something that everybody needs when they're camping, and that is a bivy. This is what keeps you warm at night. And then also, for comfort, a pillow. In a book, we got uh, Stephen King, The Tommy Knockers. Any of you guys ever read that? Let me see, down in the comments. Back, uh, sleeping bag's all set up. <sighs> it's always a good idea, first of all, to brush the snow off of everything, and then, to keep all your gear inside so it doesn't freeze. Especially tonight. Seems like it's gonna be a cold one. Bring all my stuff, I don't need that. Sled's fine. Okay. I'm gonna hop in the sleep bag pretty quickly here because it's starting to get a little bit chilly. A bit chilly out here. So uh, I'll pick this up in the morning, guys. Uh, here we are, we got the sled here. Got the tent out in the field. I'll see you guys in the morning and here we go. Good morning, my friends. What's going on? I am severely dehydrated. Oh, oh I left my boots out there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, we're going to pack things up. Where we gonna go? Also, a lot of you guys are uh, interested in the gear. <clears throat> My voice just cracked there. A lot of you guys are interested in the gear that we use for camping. Mike, Travis, and I. So, uh, at some point, I do want to make a video of showing you guys all the camping gear we do. So, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. We all know the uh, ultimate camping flashlight is... Oh, light flashlights, that's right. Ah! It smells funny in here, and I don't like it. This tent has been on so many camping trips, it's pretty funny. It's been across the country like six times, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Oh! Right through the ski pan. You okay, little guy? Didn't mean to drop you in the snow. Yeah. Here we go. Get my snowmobile seat back on my seat. We didn't get too much snow last night. Just a dusting. I still got to pick up my uh, windshield <laughs> out in the field over there somewhere. So yeah guys, last night I hope I was able to show you what the, uh, the S1R Baton 2 
can do. I tried to use it in real life situations, getting ready for camping, camping, all that stuff. Uh, so I hope you guys were able to see what it can really do. It's a really cool light and I think you guys should go check it out over at olightworld.com. Links are in the description. Okay, let's see if this bad boy will start up this morning. We'll give her a full choke. And we're gonna even do the electric start. So nice having a sled with electric start. Hmm, a little hesitant. But there she goes. Almost. I'm gonna take a little mini rip after I get my stuff dropped off at the house. I wanna see what this thing's all about. Oh, that's why I had my pull cord stuck in the throttle. You ready, big guy? Let's see if you're warmed up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh man, I can't make a left turn for this seat. All right, let's try and carve. It's kind of dangerous in my situation, but we're going to try it. Ah, kind of. Oh yeah, I don't think I can do that. Oh yeah, I gotta find my windshield. I see it over there. I'm definitely gonna take a little mini rip after I get this back. <laughs> Slap it on there temporarily. I gotta drop my gear off. Okay, so apparently my GoPro was not on that whole time. A bunch of cool things just happened. One thing that was not very cool is that I just ran out of gas. <laughs> so, and I was just carving up on, on the sled. You, maybe I showed it to you guys in some video, or I don't know. But uh, I just ran out of gas. Just, just barely ran out of gas. And uh, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it right here. This was the S1R Baton 2 review, video, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I want you guys to go check it out for real. These are really high quality flashlights. And if you go to olightworld.com, 
there you will find a bunch of cool flashlights so there's not just these two that i've shown you there's a bunch of bunch of products that they have and if you order they're having a huge sale up to 45 percent off all products on the website so this is a black friday sale so you guys want to get in on that and you can also get a 13e keychain flashlight for free so when you order so go check it out uh, oletworld.com and with that my friends i'm gonna start walking i gotta get some gas and uh we'll see how this pans out all right see you guys